Oh my God, it's a monster. This is a monster, guys. This is a monster. Oh my gosh, this is a monster. He's like, oh my God, he's pulling my jacket like crazy. What's going on guys? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with another LTB challenge for you guys. I can't remember if this is the third one or the fourth one, but we're getting up there guys. So I'm just going to go ahead, do a little preview of what we have in the box. And I know you guys really don't care about that because who cares about those unboxings? I know you guys want to see some fish catches. So I'm going to just blaze over this real, really fast and I can uh, get everything out to you. So first bait in the box. There's a worm right here. Got some mustad treble hooks. Not really a bait, but this is in the box. Olympic fishing lures. Got a little swim bait right here. That's gonna dive around like five foot. That one might be a little tricky one. I got a Yozuri rattle trap. Or a lipless crankbait. Got the V&M baits, I got one of their jigs. That one should be not too bad. Got some Cabin Creek Bait Company. Um, they're called spy, uh, Spider Parts. And I'll probably add that actually onto the worm. Like I'm gonna add it onto the end like a hula grub. And I got a fish hound crankbait. This dives uh, eight to 12 foot, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that one because the ponds are really shallow. Got some Cabin Creek. Um, spider heads, let's actually put that bait on. Just got these little tiny three inch creature baits. So guys, that's everything in the box. Let's see what we're gonna start out with. Hopefully we will catch a fish on each one of these baits. All right guys, so this first bait I'm gonna be using is I'm just using this Yozuri lipless crankbait because I think I can catch a fish on this fairly easy. This is going to be the first bait. I'm just going to get it out of the way and see what I can do with it. So let's see if we can catch a few fish on it. There we go. Little guy on the rattle, not the rattle truck, the lipless crankbait by Yozuri. Yeah, guys, you got that thing good. There we go. All right, guys, there is a solid little 20 pounder. Now, right, guys, a little tiny fish. It's got nice colors. He's actually a little fat one. He's a little stubby guy. But that's the start, guys. First fish in the boat, or first fish on the bank. And that Yozuri lipless crankbait is complete. All right, guys, moving on to the second bait. I got this little swim bait. I'm gonna see if I can get this guy, this hard bait over with. He's not too big, so I'm not too worried about it. I think I can catch one on it over here. Oh my god, it's a monster. This is a monster, guys. This is a monster. Oh my gosh, this is a monster. He's like, oh my god, he's pulling my jacket like crazy. Don't get me up in that tree. Oh my gosh, this is a monster, guys. Finally. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. 
Oh, look at this fish. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, guys. Look at this stud. This thing. Dude, look at that. It's so fat. This thing has to be eating bluegill. Guys, <laughs> oh my God. When I hooked him, I thought he was a really good one. But I did not think, guys, this is a monster. This is absolutely, I mean, that thing's pushing six just because of how fat he is. He, the funny part is, is he really, he's really short. But guys, this is a big fish. Oh my God, I didn't think he was this big. I thought he was like maybe four and a half. But guys, for how fat he is, he's definitely pushing five and a half, six. What a great fish, especially on the LTB challenge. Great, that is awesome guys. I'm gonna take a few pictures and I'll get back with you. All right guys, releasing this fat guy. I wanted to release him over here on the shallow end. God. Now guys, that is exactly what I've been waiting for out of this pond. I knew there was some big fish in here. Like I just knew it. Cause I used to catch these when I was a kid when I was fishing with my grandpa. And guys, that's what I want to catch out of here. Gosh, that was a solid fish, guys. It wasn't that he was so long and he was just skinny. That was actually a good, solid, chunky fish. I mean, he was, I mean, he really wasn't that long. He was really stubby, but he had a big old stomach on him. You could tell he's been eating those bluegill and he was just munching on all those fish. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, that was awesome. I'm switching over to the jig. And I, the little like creature bait that was in there, the little tiny one, I actually put on the jig. So I got a double combo going. But guys, I'm glad you guys finally, you guys are like, man, why are you fishing these small fish ponds? I knew there's big fish in here. You just got to find them. And heck, I was throwing a big bait when I caught that. So that, you know, that definitely taught me something today. And so I'm definitely going to have to come back here sometime throwing some big swim baits or big top water or something that just that big fish will really want to key, key in on and something that's worth the big fish chasing. But uh, shout out to the guy who lives here. He's 90 years old, guys. If you guys could, please send some prayers out to him. He's not doing the best right now. He's one of my grandpa's friends, but uh, I actually talked to him before I came down here. And he, he wished me luck. He's like, I hope you catch a big one. And he's never said that before. And I, I believe that, that was why I caught that is because he said that. So big shout out to him. Please send some prayers out to him. Hopefully it gets, gets better soon. But here we go, guys. We're going to throw the jig out there. Let's see what we get. Big ones out there, maybe. I've been waiting forever for that bite. And I finally got it. And lost him right at the bank. And it actually wasn't a bad fish. It was about two and a half pounds, which is not bad for this pond. So I'm going to just quit now. That really sucks, though. All right, guys, I'm cutting that jig off. I uh, had that one bite on it. I've literally been fishing it for literally like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So literally, I'm just going to chill out for a minute. <clears throat> I literally got that fish on the bank. So I might let that one slide, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But right now, I'm tying this deep diving crankbait on. I'm not sure how this is going to work because this pond is very shallow, but I guess we'll make do with it and uh, hopefully catch a few fish on it. Here we go. Got you on the shore. God, look how skinny this is. I don't even think I've ever seen a fish this skinny. What in the world are you doing, man? I think you got this whole game wrong. I've never seen a bass this skinny in my life. I'm like scared to even hold them because I don't want to break them. Oh. 
Look at this tiny man. Look at this guy. I've never seen a fish this skinny in my life. Look at his body. <laughs> that fish that I caught earlier could easily gulp you up, man. Well, he's trying to eat. At least we know that. He tried to snatch that crankbait up. I might throw this a few more times, see if I can have some fun with it. Skinniest fish I've ever caught. Right there. All right, guys, for this next setup, I'm actually tying on one of my wobble heads. And this is the ones that I have on my website. You can go check them out, the link's below. Um, and then I'm gonna try um, this worm right here. I'm actually gonna put the salty spider parts. I'm gonna put one of those like hula grub looking things before I put the worm on the wobble head. So to make it look like a little more creature action going on. And um, I'm gonna check it out in the middle, see if I can get a big fish. All right guys, so that's what I got going. I got the wobble head. I put that little like spider parts thing right there so it gives a little action. Got the worm going on. And I'm actually gonna throw like this thing isn't stinky enough, but I kind of want to, I don't want this fish to like it. So I'm going to throw me some Bass Dynasty Nightcrawler slime on this thing. And get this thing real juicy. There you go, guys. This thing is stinky. I don't want to need it, but... Maybe this fish will, let's see. All right guys, so, you know, I, I didn't catch a fish on each bait. Um, it didn't go as planned, but I'm actually gonna have to get off the water. I actually have some things I have to really go do. <clears throat> it's about to get dark here in about an hour anyways. Um, so I really wish I could show you guys some more footage, but therefore I'm not going to. So I'm definitely gonna be telling you guys some tips uh, about the baits that I used and um, also like the rod and reel combo that I used, the action, the power, the line, everything that you guys need to know. But guys, thank you guys so much for the support. That big fish, I finally got one, you know, that's that I'm fine, you know, I'm satisfied right now. I'd usually, I, if I caught like three fish, I would not be satisfied. But uh, you know, with that big fish, I'm pretty satisfied right now and um, I'm happy I got a good one out of here. So you know, I started off, I was throwing that rattle trap, and that was pretty simple, you know. I threw that out there. I knew I was going to get a fish on it. Shallow water lake. You know, shallow water lake, that's a shallow water bait. And that's just going to work perfectly in here. And um, I caught a fish pretty much on the third cast. So that, that um, lipless crankbait, definitely a great bait for the ponds. Um, and they usually throw one in a lucky tackle box every time, and that's usually something that I'm just pounding those fish on is a lipless crankbait, therefore, because the ponds are really shallow. Um, so then I moved on to that swim bait, and I, I'm going to be completely honest, guys. I would have never thrown that. Like, if I saw that at a tackle shop, I probably would have never picked that thing up. And um, the fact, that's another thing about Lucky Tackle Box is, you know, you don't know what you're going to get in the box. It it helps you to where you're going to try out baits that you wouldn't usually never try out. See, if I would have never tried out that bait, I probably wouldn't have caught that fish right there. And I'm just being completely honest with you guys. That's probably what would have happened. I probably wouldn't have caught it. You know, in my mind, if a big fish, I think I think a big fish is more sluggish. They're not going to be as fast as those tiny ones, you know. I know big fish are also fast, but in my opinion, I, I don't think they're going to be, you know, as fast as those small ones. Um, therefore, they're not going to go chasing off after a little bait. Every once in a while, they might, but in my opinion, big bait, you'll get a big fish out of it. So, I threw that swim bait around and finally got a big bite, and um, that just really, you know, boosted my confidence. That's that. That was a great fish. That was a really solid fish. So uh, he's about five, five and a half pounds. So, I mean, that's a that's a solid, solid largemouth, really thick fish. And um, I moved over to that that jig. I threw that a little bit. The thing is, guys, with that jig, a lot of these ponds don't. I mean, they don't really have much deep water. You're in that really shallow water, and this time of year, all that algae, all that grass is is coming up. And guys, when you throw that jig, it's such, such a small profile, which a jig is a phenomenal bait. Don't get me wrong. You can throw that on lakes, and you can just whack them on it. You can also throw it on ponds, but at this one, there's just so much stuff on the bottom that those fish won't really see it. So that, therefore, I didn't get too many bites. I got a few bites on it, 
and um, I literally th I threw that fish on the bank, and literally right when it hit the bank, it just went back in. That was actually a decent fish compared to the other ones I usually catch out of here, so that kind of stunk, but it's all right. This is just fishing, guys. You're not going to catch everything that you hook, but um, that's another thing about Lucky Tackle Box, guys. That's, you know, they're going to put baits in there that you can use everywhere, so if you're fishing a, a shallow water and deep water lake, like I'm on Lake Lanier, there's shallow water and there's deep water, I mean, you everything in that box will work you know it works perfectly fine like that deep diving crankbait i threw i i would never throw that in a pond to be completely honest but if i went out on linear i would love to throw that i would just whack them on it but uh in this pond it's pretty shallow but i i adjusted with it i kept my rod tip up so that bill's not digging down into the bottom so much because that was like a 12 foot diver and uh i mean this pond's definitely not that deep so i just kept my rod tip high kept that bait a little bit above the bottom got that strike and um, got that fish so uh just adjusting around to see what I can catch and then that worm I kind of I put that little tiny grub on there with the worm on the wobble head and didn't really get any bites but that was a really big profile bait that was a really big worm so I'm not too worried about that if I fished it if I had a lot more time to fish it, I could fish it a lot longer I'm sure I would get a good fish on it but uh those little ones are most likely not going to bite that which is a good thing you know you don't want to always catch those small ones you want to catch that big bite so guys today the rod and reel i was using is i was using an akuma helios rod this is actually a seven six heavy rod so i can throw a little bit of everything on it some people really like like medium heavy rods some people like heavy rods but today i just decided to throw my heavy rod and um it's still it's still got a pretty good bit of tip so it wasn't a problem at all throwing all those baits on it and um so i got the akuma helios seven six heavy power rod and also i got it paired up with an akuma helios reel and this is a seven three to one gear ratio reel that's usually what i stick around with um towards the bait caster side of reels this is a seven one to one or seven three to one gear ratio reel and the line that i have on is 15 pound cigar fluorocarbon that's pretty much like what i use all the time just 15 pound 15 pound on pretty much everything i throw and then of course i threw all of the different baits on the same setup and it just worked perfectly fine but guys, I really hope you guys got some few tips out of this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me catch that big fish. Um, finally got a good one out of here. I'm really pumped about that. I, I was really scared. When I had to like flip that thing up on shore, I was really scared, especially with that swim bait. I thought he was going to come off. But he was pulling my drag. I had to actually tighten my drag while I was reeling him in. Then there were some stumps he was going behind, and I just barely got him over those and flipped him in the boat. But that was crazy, guys. I was intense. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. But thank you guys so much for the support. Please click that thumbs button, like thumbs up button as always. And please leave a comment below on what you guys want to see. And just leave a comment below in general, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Lucky Tackle Box below. Also check out my website, Clothing and Apparel. And also all my social media sites. I'll catch you guys in the next video.